Hi everyone, so we're here making the cards. I've picked out just a couple of the backgrounds I did from, was it last week I think, or the week before? Losing track of days, being knocked up, totally losing track of days. So I thought we're going to go with the um, brick, god that's making my words together, brick background and we're going to use this one as well. So what we're going to do first is just them up a little bit. I've got the an embossing folder here. I don't know if you can see, but we've got an emboss and a deboss side. So one sticks up and one sort of sticks in. So what I want is the higher side, the raised side. I think that's the emboss one. I get confused. And what I need to grab, if I can grab yet, is my powder bag. So what we're going to do is we're going to emboss them. So this is just um, my attack powder stuff. And it helps everything stop from sticking that you don't want to stick and i've just got a basic embossing thing here just get this quite cheaply off amazon what i'm going to do is rub this or dab this onto the raised side of the embossing folder and i just want it really just on the raised part if i can it's easier said than done because i've done a few of these just to practice and we'll see if this one works. We can but hope. I'll give it a good push over. And I'm going to put the fold the picture in so the sticky side goes on top of the pattern. And I'm just going to run this through my um, die cut machine. So we'll be back in a second. Okay, so I've just run it through the machine. Check this out. You can see possibly that's indented in. Of course, you need to hope you can see that. And all that pattern, hopefully, has taken the embossing powder or the embossing ink rather. And I'm going to cover it with silver, it's just a plain piece of copy paper. And this is some embossing powder here. I'm just going to pour it over the side, like so. Flip it around to the other side. It looks like it's taken where it needs to. A few extra bits there, so we don't want. So let's get rid of the bulk of this first because it can be quite clumsy. Let's put it back in there. I'm going to a small paintbrush. I'm just going to go around the edges, take off the bits, excess bits that I don't actually want. So I'll carry on going around, you can see there's a few more bits around here. And if I turn the heat gun on this, that will all just stick regardless and I don't want it around everywhere, I just want the actual pattern. I don't know how to fast forward, so I'm going to pause you a minute and carry on and do all these bits around here. Okay, it's up back in a sec. Okay, so I've just taken off all the bits just here, so I'll pop those in the jar as well. It's not a lot, but it will stick absolutely everywhere. This stuff, all right. So, oop, my heat gun, I just warm up a second before I actually put it near. did forget is to hold it by a peg because it does get really hot. So as you can see the bottom part is now starting to really shine where it's heating up. Okay. But okay so see I've finished it off and it's all nice and shiny. Another bit of shiny shiny. So you see you've got the brickwork still behind but you've got a little pop of colour now coming through. What I haven't done is actually wipe this off, so I just quickly grab a wet mic and wipe this because we don't want the um, actually, I did it on the side. 
this stuff is really quite sticky and you don't want to put away a dirty bottom folder anyway. And you certainly don't want it with any kind of ink or sticky stuff on it. So just going to quick wipe over. There. there we go. And put it back in its folder which has disappeared. Where did I put that? Oh my goodness me, not going to stay somewhere. I might have to find that in a moment and pop that away. Right, so the other one, this one, I'm going to do the same thing, but we're going to use this in the bottom folder this time. What I'm going to do is put it on the opposite side. So where I did the raised last time, I'm going to do it on the sunken side this time. So I need my little powder bag first. One thing I keep forgetting to do. Very good, I'll show that. It's supposed to help it not go where you want it to go, but there we go. Right. So I just again dab it over. And pull it all over the sunken side. And then I'll cause I want it on the picture, make sure that goes on top of the picture. Like so. Okay, so I'll just run it through the machine. I'll be back in a sec. Okay, so I've just run it through the machine. Again, let's see. It's got a nice pattern on there. Yeah, that's right. I did do it the right way. Confused me so, no. Let's just quickly clean this off. I know it's done. There we go. Pop that over there. A bit of paper. And this time we're going to go with gold. Oh dear, okay, let's go. That's right, put it in the right place. Because of course, put it on the other side, it's going in the middle bit. Just tap that off. Right, so I paused you while I made a start on heat embossing this, so I thought I'd bring you in on the last bit so you could just see the last part of it. Checking up all of it because, as you can see, it looks good there. Um, where I did it on the other side. Oops, oh, they knocked everything over there. Put that over here a sec. Where I did it on the other side of the embossing folder, we've got the pattern that's come through and the, um, the embossing colours covered it. So we've got the stunning colours from the pattern popping up through the gold. And this one, we've got the stunning silver laying on top of the lovely colours underneath. So you've still got your background. So we're going to keep this background as it is. And this one, what I want to do is do some die cuts. I've got some lovely balloon die cuts here. And I think I'll do... Oops, a couple of sizes... I'm not going to, yeah, it's too big. So what I'm going to do is cut out a few balloons off of this one, which we can then stick onto that one. Okay, so what you do is put it on my cutting platform. I'll take this one off, this is my embossing sheet. I've got a mirror board here. these on here now you can just normally I will just leave them on there as they are and run it through like that but because I've done the embossing everything on there I'm going to actually use some washi tape it's quite low tack tape just to hold them in place so they don't go wonk about while I'm running it through the machine as you see my things a little bit on the wonky side it's very well loved and used so I'll just put this through and I'll do a few of them. I shall use up that whole piece and I shall be back as soon as I'm done. See you in a sec.
close my eyes and I can see a world that's waiting up for me that I call my own Through the dark, through the door through where no one's been before But it's not on my air just because it's, it's curling up a little bit I'll squish it down Okay. It's not currently, so I'll just hold it down for a second. So I raise these ones up. I'm standing a little bit proud of their short face. Right. I did now is cut these off. I won't do it with these scissors because these are my, what I call my glue scissors. And they're not that sharp because they've got glue on them. So I will use my snips first. Very sharp. Very sharp. Okay. Take the edges off that. Okay, so now I need to do is trim the edges. And I'm not good at doing that fully now, so I want to bring out my big machine. Try and cut this down. Perhaps should have done this before I stop sticking things on, really, but never mind. It's all good. Okay, so I need this arch on that edge and get rid of that edge. I'm going to miss a fourth inches. I'm going to miss a few working inches, I'm afraid. And it should already be at six. Yep, so there we go. I'm short of six, which is spot on. Alright, so I'll bring this boy in. And this is a scoreboard, if you haven't seen them before. And I have a piece of card ready to go. Where is it this one? Which is that's what I want. So I cut one down. There we go. There we go. Eight inches by six inches. Okay. So I'm going to score this at four. So four by six card. Fold it and then just use the bone bone folder. As they called. Because they used to be made out of bone, apparently. And we've got basic card. Okay. So let's put this one in here. I do like this scoreboard because it did actually come with a piece which you make envelopes with. The other thing is it took me ages on YouTube to find out how to use this, but now I've got it sussed. Really easy to use for making envelopes. So if you want to see how to do that, let me know. I can do another one. So it took me a long, long time to find the one I found. So here we go. So what we're going to do now is stick this one onto here, like so. But what I'm going to do is stick it down with tape rather than glue. So I've just got my double sided tape here. Uh, right. I'll pop that on. Like so. Just want to break. Blue scissors and I use my paper tool which is here. If I know I don't like pulling up the tape, make sure I've got to squish down. And I was looking at my hands the other day and I noticed very strangely that my index fingers are starting to turn in at the top, which is quite weird. I'm guessing that's to do with the arthritis. It's going on both of them, so at least I'm being even about it, I suppose, isn't it? Uh, the pain that's there, I never notice anymore because it's just, you know, part of who you are, isn't it? Get used to certain things. So, now, this little tab folding thing I'm doing is what I got from Natasha Foot. Um, she's absolutely fantastic. She has some great videos. You can have a look at her YouTube videos because they're brilliant at card making. So, what you can do now, get your tabs done card up the right way, tear off your top one, and you can line your card up on your background, and the background can be any colour, you can do it plain uh, plain white, you can have it an actual colour, I'm just eyeballing the top and bottom here, because that's got a little bit of give, and now I've got that in place, I can just tear these off and stick down those edges without it going all over the place, unless it's sticking where I don't want it to stick. 
And I was trying to line it up. We get a nice tidy edge in. And all we need to do now is pop our banner across the bottom. And I haven't got my banner stamp out, so I shall just quickly go and grab that. Two secs. All right, so I've got this box of tags, which I've had absolutely ages. So I'm trying to work my way through them rather than re-stamping and making up a lot of, load of um, tags, basically. So we've got best wishes in different shapes and sizes. Happy birthday, just for you. Um, sending you hugs. That's quite cute, isn't it? Um, my thoughts are with you now and always. So I've got sort of covering quite a lot of different scenarios. Um, so I'm trying to work my way through this lot. So I've just dug out a couple here. So we have best wishes, whoops, which I could pop across. And we've got a just for you, which I could put across. Now they're obviously way too small as they are. So what I need is a banner strip. So I'm going to do it in the white because I pick up the white from the edge. So I've got white cards here. Uh, we know that is a four, four inches across. Here she comes. Turn around. So I've got measurements of my size. And so that's that. Now I'll try to work this out now. Look at me. I'm trying to use my brain cell. It's not good. All right, so four inches that way. I only want a couple of inches wide. Let's have a look. Why do I actually want it? I want it an inch. No more than an inch. So we have an inch there. So I'm going to do is hold it down with this. Oh, come on, let's get it out. There we go. Alright. Now this can go straight across the bottom. It'll hold all the edges the balloons in. So pop on just for you in the middle. Now that white is very white isn't it? It is insanely white and I'm not liking it very much at the minute. So what I think I will need to do is some silver embossing on it. Yeah it's just a bit too, a bit too much isn't it? A bit too much. So let's quickly grab the embossing folder which we use for the balloons. So pick up the padding, the imprint there. This is what you call thinking on your feet. So I'm just going to emboss this, emboss this, and silver bit, and I'll show you back in a sec. Right, so there's our little piece. Okay, all I've done is put it through the embossing folder, and then I actually used the pen, which I've just lost there, and just drawn over all the raised areas, and then through the embossing powder, and heated it. So that will now sit a lot nicer over there. And I think I'll put the best wishes. Oh, I don't know actually now. <gasps> Spot of choice, look. Spot of choice. I think what what looks better. It's quite like that actually. So yeah, I'm gonna sit that on there because I like that one. And again, pop some PVA on there. When you can didn't have to use card so it's like a mean on it and um, we could put a piece of ribbon across and you could just put a plain piece of card you put a piece of color from one of the backgrounds um, sorry one of the backgrounds we did so I could put a piece of that so I mean the options are limitless you know you can stick anything you want anywhere you want oh that's not sticking properly so hopefully that'll hold not, or I'll just put some double sided tape on. No, he's popping off, he's not happy, probably because it's raised. Try this just quickly. Give it a whoosh, think on your feet, as they say. And I've lost the end of my tape. Where is it? There it is. Put this on. Okay. 
you do have to do after doing this is clean your tool off because it does get the glue sticking to it which is a bit of a nuisance all right so we've got that in the center there Okay, I shall take the back of this as well because obviously it's going to go with the strings. Um, there we are, nice and easy. For some reason, my phone's suddenly going nuts. Uh, I'll look at that later. So I've got into a habit now of just having these. So I'm always tapping whatever I'm doing. I don't need the tab, doesn't matter. Come off. Back right across the bottom. Just like that. And because you've got all the strings underneath, it does raise it up slightly, so you don't need to put um, the foam tape underneath it at all. It's automatically raised up. There, there you have it. You can put a little greeting, and if you wanted to, you could put the best wishes inside. You've got plenty of space there for your message. And there we have it. Okay. Let me know what you think. That's just a quick little card. Very simple. Bit of fun. And it's a nice standard size card. So you can buy the envelopes quite easily for it. These are just little tab ones. I'll fit in there because I've got two there fit in there quite happily for postage so uh, it's nice and light so it's not going to cost you any extra and nothing gets curled or anything okie doke so let me know what you think have a go guys drop me some photos of your ideas and how you get on i'd love to see them take care see you again soon bye bye